Now check this out. Boom. There is now quad jets right here. Look at all these Goldberg catfish. Right, come here, bud. What is going on, friends? Welcome back to another video here. Today, I um, was going to post this tomorrow, but then it'd be Thanksgiving. I want everyone to spend time with their family, so I'm posting today and not tomorrow. What we're doing is we're going to get a gold per catfish eventually today. That's what the title and thumbnail of this video is. But the main goal right now is to get some bait fish to feed thump. We need to put some bait in the bait pen so that we have it throughout the holiday and obviously throughout the week. I actually just put a cool homemade lid on the bait well as well, so I'll show you that when we get back home. So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to head to the lake right now, throw the net a few times, catch some bait, and we'll be back home, put them in the well, and then we'll head and get that gulper. All right, here at the lake, unravel my cast net. See, if you put your stuff away nicely, it'll be easy, quick and easy, to take it out. Okay. All right, first cast net, we caught four, what I like to call mud minnows, but I really don't know a scientific name for these fish. If you know what that is, Comment down below. We just caught four of them. And now we're gonna start off the bait well with that. Now, let's get some other fish. Oh yeah, hit the jackpot. Got them good. That's what I like to see right there, tilapia. Now this lake is stocked with tilapia and uh, they breed like crazy. So there's just absolutely millions, millions of these fish in these lakes. Oh, just jumped at the camera. We got a lot that cast, probably, let me, let me take a look. Oh, oh, I'd say about a half a dozen, maybe a little more, like eight. All right, so we got two more tilapia, and then we also caught these wild mollies right here. Now, I don't keep these, sometimes I bring them home, put them in the mini pond, but they breed like crazy, and there's already so many in my mini pond, so I'm gonna release these three. Oh, there goes one, one, two, there they go. See you little guys, water spot. So that's about it, I'm gonna pick up the lid, show you guys one good look. Okay, I'm gonna close that. Uh, probably got about a dozen and a half baits, we could put a lot more in a 100 gallon well, but we're just gonna stick with that for now. Now I never like coming and taking a ton, so I just do little by little. All right. Ready to go. Set home. All right, there's our bait, and here's the little makeshift uh, live well lid I made. So I just got that same caging from Home Depot, put it across, and then duct taped along the whole side so none of like the spiky parts were exposed. Now, in order to open it and put these baits in, all I got to do is pop it from right there and go like that. And now you got your bait well. So I figured it out between caging and duct tape. Get our net right here. All right, bait's going in. The reason why I had to make a lid for this bait tank is because they jump so much that they'll end up just jumping out. And, and you know what happens after they jump out and there's no water down here. It wouldn't, it wouldn't go well. So there's our bait tank. They can still jump out right here, but I'm not trying to do like all that mechanism. I don't think it's going to happen. The wall's right there. They're definitely not getting out of here, I can tell you that. This is uh, slim tight. Now, for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, I did a lot in the backyard off camera. I did all of it on my Instagram story, so if you do want to follow me there, that's my Instagram. We're, we're creeping up on 100K followers. I did a lot of plant picking in the backyard, which you'll see in just a second. It looks so good. And I also put place in in our fire pit now, so look how, look how good that looks. Two new screens because these screens had an open bottom and the turtles would sometimes get into the patio, so put new screens on there this morning. Remulch all this. Took out those plants that looked like that, but they were kind of like more dead. Took those out, remulched all this. New rocks right here, filled that in. Weeded all back here, put new mulch. New mulch up along this whole entire thing. Look at all the fan mail stuff right here on the rock. There is now quad jets right here. And another jet right here that's off right now, but I have five jets in total pushing water straight to that skimmer right there. Now check this out, boom. Remember how that purple weed was kind of going over all this? It looks so much better now. So what I did was just pretty much pull all those weeds out of the ground, remulch the area, and now it just looks amazing. And if you're like, Paul, where are the turtles gonna hide now? You'll see what I did. So check this out, they still have all under here and throughout here. There's actually one right there right now. That's her favorite spot. There's the male right here, just kind of cruising. But back here, let me try to get back here. I got a bunch of the dead plants that I ended up picking, and I put them on the ground back here. Look at this. Now I wouldn't doubt if one of the turtles was in here right now, actually. Anyway, this is a perfect, cool environment for these turtles if they wanted to go back down there. There's also a cage right here for them to climb up and one over there. Pretty crazy, you couldn't see half this stuff beforehand. 
Now on over to here. Whew. This was never even filled in with gravel. I never even ended up filling this in. So I just filled that in as well, looking sharp. So now that all this is done, this leads you right to the catfish pond over here. I'm almost afraid to step on the gravel. It looks so nice. The catfish are doing amazing. The water's warm. Everything is going great. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. Thought I'd update you guys on how it's looking back here. I mean, it looks amazing. Let me give you one far, wow, that's bright. Real quick, here's the montage. Now that I've given you a solid update on the backyard and what's going on here before Thanksgiving, I'm gonna send you on over to Predatory Fins, uh, the fish store that we went into the aquarium of last video, which is insane, where we got our blob, also known as gulper catfish, for a 30 gallon tank that we built in another recent video, so enjoy. Look at all these gulper catfish. Now these things, I'm telling you, will eat anything. If you watch my last video, you'll know that. I'm not kidding you. Look at the stomachs on some of these fish. Look at that. Look at the stomach on them. Um, I broke my camera, so I am filming on my iPhone. But uh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, look at his stomach. I actually built that tank strictly for these gopher cats right here. So without further ado, Rod is over there getting the bag and net. And we are going to bag one of these suckers up in just a second. Hopefully like a bigger one, because we do have a 30 gallon. Of course it's gonna grow either way. So um, I'm just kind of scouting out the tank here and I'm, I'm just, just, I don't know which one I'm gonna get, man. I think we should do the biggest one. You really want one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really want your birthday. December 19th. All right, I'll give it to you for uh, every birthday gift. Hey. Hey, do me a favor right now. Go to the link in the description. He just gave me a free gold for catfish for my birthday. Well, you deserve it. I, I, deserve I, it. I, I, I went swimming with your fish. And I told you when, when I get more red, uh, platinum red tail, I'll yes. you up. Platinum red tail. Right now, they're almost impossible. It's, it's going to happen, though. Like, it's going to happen eventually, especially once I get my own, like, like If anybody place. can get them, it'll be me. Yes, for sure. So check out the link in the description. Go subscribe to his channel. Come on. He just gave me a free catfish. <laughs> Here's the deal. We're going to be netting our own fish. Now I'm going to be real picky. Real picky. Oh, I see him already. Never mind. Maybe I'm not too picky. Oh, he's gone. Too many to even look through. That's a good fat one right there. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that was a lot easier than I thought. All right, come here, bud. Holy whack job. Should we get him? Bloop. There he goes. Look at our blob catfish. Oh, that's a perfect size one. Yeah, I know. He can eat. I'll give him some food too, so perfect. he can Don't eat him. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Dude, I cannot wait to feed this thing. Hold on, we're getting the oxygen in there? Yeah, 100% oxygen, so he can drive home and yes, sir. be good to go. Heck yeah. Now if you guys didn't watch one of my last videos, I went through all these fish by the way, and I even snorkeled inside this. Every fish in here is very aggressive and gnarly. I mean, look at this, arowana, tarpon. I actually went swimming with all of these fish. Roll the clip. So if you guys do want to see me swimming with those, check out uh, the video. I'll have it linked in the description. Rod, you got the fish here? Oh yeah, bro. Gulper. Gulper cat. Look how cool he is. I love the mouth. Can't wait to feed you. He's even going to give us some. Got monsters? <laughs> oh yeah. Perfect. Now what are these? If these are pretty much the goldfish, but yep. they're uh, black salties. Dope. So right. you should be able to swallow them whole. Yeah. But if not, you can cut in half and feed them. Yep, for sure. Dope. Awesome. All right, we'll see you at home with uh, this gopher catfish ready to go in the tank. Welcome back home. And uh, the blob catfish is in its tank already. I had the footage. I think I have some of it. Here's some of it. And after about 15 minutes of acclimating, our blob catfish is about ready to go inside the 30-gallon aquarium. Relax, buddy. Woo! There he goes. So long, brother. Oh my gosh, the white sand, it doesn't get much better than that. So there he is right there on bottom and he's got a decent size aquarium for his size at least. But that's all I had of putting this guy into his aquarium. There he is, he's uh, chilling behind his anchor and uh, the PC fan art is actually the background of this tank. Oh, 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 where is he? There's his face. 
I cannot wait. Give it a day or two and he's gonna start munching out of my hand. He's already been in here for uh, 24 hours. Time flies, it's actually crazy that this fish already has been in here for that long. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. We got a blob catfish. I know you'll see more of this guy in the future on my channel. I thought I'd just make a video real quick, have it up before Thanksgiving. This was sent to the P.O. box and on it it says, today's positive comment goes to Pets Walla. Wow, you are verified now. Congrats, dude. I have also 17 pets at my home. Love your videos a lot. Appreciate that. Thanks to everyone for the support. Just like sending these stuff into the P.O. box. P.O. box is linked in the description, by the way, if you want to send anything to get onto this wall now. There he is, coming out. Check out the viewers, come say hi. Come say hi. If you did go on to enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. We just passed 700K and we are on the road to 1 million. Thank you all for being here. Thank